Howdy folks, Timber Drifter here. Can't see myself on the screen, I think I'm on it. It's too sunny outside. So I just finished up working at Country Music Festival that I've been doing since 2015. Didn't have it last year, of course, with all the goings on. <sighs> I'm kind of worn out and in recovery mode here. Tired, foot sore, and worn out. And a little slow mentally. <laughs> I usually work the fest for nine days. Uh, this year I only did four. The last four. It's about a week of camping out. Band bands in the bar every night and uh, then the you know name what would you call that the big stars <laughs> country stars show up for about uh, four days so I finished that up yesterday I have found four days is fairly reasonable. I can do that. Nine days is a hell of a slog. It's like 14 hour days and then the last three days are 17 hour days. Camping out. It's a bit of a drive from here so I camp with a whole lot of other people. Basically this place turns into a small city. Campers as far as you can see uh, in various directions. A lot of drinking goes on, and it's a country music festival, so you can infer some of the behavior. It's usually a pretty wild time. And I do maintenance there and garbage removal, so you drive around for 10 hours at a time, sometimes picking up garbage uh, from campsites, bagged garbage, throw it in the back of a truck, take it to a dumpster. And then twice a day we bring a garbage truck in and uh, empty the 55 gallon drums that are all over the seating area and arena and around the stage and by the vendors booths. So in a day I might pick up about 70 barrels and they're plastic 55 gallon drums anywhere in weight from about 60 to 250 pounds and dump them in the back of a garbage truck. Pick them up, dump them. <laughs> And at night I stay late and empty the barrels behind the bartenders in the bar. And there's 11 of those. And they're heavy because they're full of ice and mixed drinks. And So, that's what I just finished up. And there's usually, uh, well, there's a lot of drinking goes on. I don't drink much. I keep myself to two or three beers a night. Usually in between garbage runs while we're waiting for the talent to get off the stage. Because obviously you can't be out there picking up garbage barrels while the concert's going on. You have to do it in the small window between artists when they start their sets. So it's always a mad rush. And the other part of my job there is I fix things that people break, which could be toilets, um, picnic tables, you name it, anything. That many people, it's, like I said, it's many thousands of people. Uh, they break everything just by using it. Not even because they mean to. So it's always a mad rush and it's always chaos. And I enjoy that. For a limited time. <laughs> Wouldn't want to do that kind of thing every day. But, uh... Yeah, this year was different. It was different. There's uh, fights that happen, things like that. Domestic disputes as well as just a whole bunch of guys drunk, strutting around like peacocks. Or turkeys, rather. A lot of guys that don't work out are... Uh, act like they're all built up and they pump their chest up and kind of put their arms out like they got real big lats you know and they kind of walk around like this just looking for a fight trying to look badass it's pretty funny 
some of those guys end up fighting each other. And because a lot of those guys end up very, very drunk, uh, they are not who they are normally in that state. And when I'm pulling barrels around, people sometimes they, for whatever reason, decide to attack. <laughs> I didn't have any of that this year. Not a single time. Uh, I rarely hit anybody. I mean, not this this year, but at this country fest. I rarely hit anybody. I'm usually able to defuse something before it happens. Um, I have had to restrain a few people, but you know, usually somebody, I see their body language and they square off toward me. They're like, they're going to attack me. I usually just go like this. Whoa, hey, I don't want any trouble. Advantage to that being my hands are up. Uh, so it looks like I don't want any trouble, but it also looks to everybody around me like my hands are up. I didn't start it. But I can also block or grab them or punch them, whatever I need to do from that position. Usually all I have to do is go, hey, I don't want any trouble. And that works. I didn't have to do that at all this year, and I loved it. <laughs> I don't want to fight anybody. There was something different about it. I think uh, after what happened last year and this and this winter and so many events being canceled and all that kind of thing, I think people were just really happy to be out. And yeah, a lot of people got drunk and there were there were a few fights, but I wasn't involved in them. <laughs> I saw the sheriff's deputies escorting people off grounds. <laughs> uh, the crowd was very affectionate. I probably got hugged by 20 random women and had to dance with them. And I don't have any idea how to dance, but when they come up and grab you and start dancing around when you're trying to take care of things, you kind of got to just dance with them for a minute and let them go. I just try not to step on them, you know. That's all they want. Also got hugged by a few very drunk dudes who, who told me what a great job we were doing and they just love us and they wouldn't work without us. You know how drunk people tend to go on and on. That's also a skill is dealing with drunk people without insulting them, but getting rid of them. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, it's always quite a it's always quite a deal. And usually after doing that for nine days, it takes me a couple days to come down. Just lack of sleep and being tired and having a lot of experiences, you know. It just has to all be processed and have to recover. But this time it was only four days, so I feel pretty good today. But I am taking the day off. I'll start working again tomorrow on my other jobs. Yeah, just a very loving crowd this year. Lots of affection. A lot of smiling faces. And the shows were pretty good. Darius Rucker was really, I suppose you'd say, the main, main headliner. Trace Atkins was there too and various other folks. But I was surprised. I'm not, I don't feel any particular way about Darius Rucker's music. I remember him when I was in high school, Hootie and the Blowfish. And, and then he turned country and that was all right too, you know. Not the kind of music I listen to. But the guy put on a hell of a performance. I was impressed. I was entertained, and I actually got to watch it. Which I don't normally get to watch more than a, a few songs of their performances because I'm doing stuff. But I actually got to watch the whole show. Travis Tripp was there, too. I didn't see much of his show, but he sounded good. Yeah, not really my kind of music. I'm a sort of a classic outlaw country kind of guy. I did get to see Merle Haggard there back in 2010, but that wasn't when I was working. I was partying. <laughs> I didn't work there then. Yeah, maybe I'll tell some stories from that fest one of these days. There's all these little moments that my, my camera mind captures that I see, and it's, and it's mostly people. People enjoying themselves, or or even, it's, a, it's really a beautiful spot. It's all surrounded by real tall pine trees, and there's even some in the middle. And I remember watching, watching Clint Black up on the stage, 
uh, one year with a thunderstorm coming in behind him, and he was singing about thunderstorms. You could see it all the way around him, standing up on a hill in front of the stage. I remember one morning this year walking into work about 5.30, and there was so much haze in the air, probably from the forest fires out west, I'm guessing, that I could look directly at the sun. It was just a red ball sitting right over the treetops early in the morning. Beautiful. And, of course, there's a lot of beautiful women strutting around there. I always enjoy that. Maybe I'll talk about that more another time, but uh, you won't be able to see it well, but smoking this old, see it's a sunrise. It says something else, something grain underneath that I can't quite remember at the moment. Vintage Briar 913 on this side. Very lightweight pipe, made in France. I think it was for uh, Kamoy, one of their seconds lines. These were, from what I can tell, very old stumbles, and that does look like the really old French stumbles. So that, that briar was probably harvested a long, long time ago. This pipe, I believe, is from the 60s, so it was probably harvested long before that. Anyway, it's an excellent smoking pipe, really is. Drilling is perfect on it, excellent grain. I don't typically like really thin-walled pipes like that, but this one's wonderful. looking around and watching now I can see I can't see myself but I can see the background uh, I've had some problems with the black bear he showed up as soon as the snow was gone but he really has only made a problem of himself in the last month or so likes to come here and knock over my garbage cans which there's never anything in it except in the winter time and uh, he ate a whole bag of my blood meal fertilizer right in front of me while I was yelling at him uh, he's gotten in the habit of breaking into my garden right around the time that the greens are ready to eat. And he eats them, I don't get to. You can see one of my gardens behind me there. Right here, a bunch of potato plants in this area. Over here there's some tomato plants and then there's jade runner beans growing back there that aren't big enough to trellis yet. Pile of scrap wood here. Split and stump there. Yeah, me and this bear have gone around a few times. He's uh, he's actually chased me once. We came pretty close to playing tag. I've chased him off once, and he chased me back. And then there was another time where I chased him, and he chased me into the house. So, yeah, we came pretty close to playing tag. Uh, I have no desire to kill this bear. I'd be well within my rights to do so at this point. I don't want to kill a bear. I don't even eat bear. I would if I killed this one, but... Probably not, actually, the warden would take it, but uh, he's dangerous, and he's disrupting neighbors around here as well. I suspect there are people that feed the bear, because he seems to come back about twice a week. I think he just walks the circuit of the neighborhood around here and hits up people's garbage cans and eats deer corn and all that stuff, but he's a problem. He's got a tag in his ear, so he's been trapped once and dropped off here. This is where they drop off the problem bears in the area that have been trapped from other places, campgrounds, because nobody lives out here. <laughs> so he's a problem bear that's already been trapped once, and he's being a problem here. I have no desire to shoot him. That said, he has been aggressive, so I am. I don't go outside without a gun. No intention to shoot him, but if he comes right up on me, that's what's going to happen. If I can't get away from him. And I'm not going to not be out in my yard. So. Carrying my old 1972 Ruger Blackhawk and 45 Colt. Old Ruger 3 screw. Good gun. Packs a hell of a wallop. But he tends to come from that direction right there. Or the one I'm looking in. And he doesn't care if I'm out here talking or hollering or not. Keeps me alert and aware. <laughs> Did 
Did I say I was smoking velvet? I'm smoking velvet. It's the last one of those big tubs I ordered last winter. Probably got three bowls left. This is a velvet pipe, by the way. It smokes it wonderfully. So, Brad from Pipes and Kayaks. He rarely makes videos anymore, and I hope he'll get back into it. There was a box waiting for me when I got home from the concert from him. So, I'm going to open that off camera, and we'll see what it got. Old Russell Canadian belt knife. Thanks, buddy. Thanks for sending the stuff. I don't know what you sent. So we'll get into it. Got a bag of Casey Jones Heroes Blend. I like that one. Kind of Presbyterian mixture. I haven't gotten around to ordering any more of that yet. That's a blend I want to sell her. Not sell her so much as stock up on. Cobblestone Outdoors Hiking. I think I saw Bean 316 do a review of that one. That tends, feels like it's full, but I think it's open. It feels open. Yep, there are marks on it. Looks like it was open with the tip of a knife. Well, let's go ahead and... Take a look at it. But I can't twist it off. I'm not being a 316. Oh, yeah, I did pop it. <laughs> oh, that smells good. Uh, flakes. So either Brad smoked a couple flakes of that and thought, I don't like that at all. Or he smoked a couple flakes and thought, that's really good. I'll send it to Timber Drifter. I'll have to talk to him and find out. Smells good to me. Oh, yeah. Capstan Gold Navy Cut. This one's open, too. I can feel it. And it looks like this one might have been open with a house key or car key. Just a couple of small gouges and the tens pried out from the side. Hmm. It's taped differently than I've seen before. Different presentation. 2021. Looks like they changed the packaging on me. Damn. Well, obviously, I'll smoke that right away. Full unopened 10 of Peterson Old Dublin. I don't believe I've ever tried that one. Oh, and a couple of bulging 10s of Bijou. Nice. I like that blend. That's one of the Red Virginia blends I actually enjoy. That's a good one. Oh boy, there's a word I'm not going to be able to pronounce properly. Sans Sepulchro. Did I get it? Maybe. Never tried that one. Mm, Italian dark fired leaf. The Virgi Red Virginia's clove like undertones. Well, that sounds interesting. I'll give that a try. And lastly, a tin of vintage Syrian, which I never had either. A big tin. Be sending some cigars your way, Brad. Start making videos again, man. Thanks for the tins. Much appreciated. Brad's a super generous guy. I think about half the pipes that I smoke regularly, he probably sent me. He had an issue where he had to have all of his pipes turned to filter pipes, and some of them it wasn't possible to do that with. And he sent them to me, and some of them he just sent to me because he thought I might like him. Super generous guy, good dude. Wish he'd start making videos again, but... I understand why it doesn't. 
Maybe one day. Well, that's about as long as I feel like standing up. <clears throat> I'm going to go sit down. I'll take care. I'll come back when I can. And uh, get outside, you know. Keep an eye out for bears if you have them. Most of them, most bear people are just fine, you know. They'll never bother you at all. And you get these assholes around here every once in a while. Anyway, take care.